you an EQ of doctors? Means happiness quotient and emotional quotient. Why to talk on this subject? Because in 2020, World Health Organization says the depression is going to be number one cause of death. Doctors are anyway the stressed out population because the society expects a lot from them and they are 24 by 7 at work. Now, if we are not happy, if our HQ and EQ is not enhanced, how we are going to deal with them, with patients and society better? What are the challenges for doctors and of course their families to enhance their happiness quotient? And when I say HQ, it's not only happiness quotient but even health quotient. Stress, anxiety, anger, incoming issues with the more of medical legal issues, and there are so many other factors in past two to five years that the doctor's life is becoming more and more stressful. Challenges are sky high expectation from the society, loss, financial issues, the compatibility issues of services, money, insurance agencies and quite a lot of things. And on top of this, work-life balance. Because doctors usually don't get good time for themselves and family. And when that disturbance happens, it also affects the relationship dynamics at home. That adds on to more stress, more insecurity and a lot of other issues. One is EQ, I would say that like medical education and surgical skill development, each of us need to be emotionally literate, emotionally agile, more e into the sense of emotional awareness and that's how bringing in more emotional stability. If this is not been matched, this stress population have been actually facing a lot of issues like hypertension, anxiety, and even professional rivalry and insecurity. Let's create the world wherein we can accept the challenges, we can identify them, we can plan the uh, remedial solutions to overcome these challenges and that can make life very easy. I want to emphasize here today that it's not that only you have to do the medical practice. Diversing your uh, practice pattern, redesigning your life, redefining your schedule and even creating and cultivating your parallel hobbies or profession can make a lot of sense to live happy, healthy yeah, lives. Digitalization of hospital is need of the time, I would say. I started doing it a couple of years back. It's one of the things that is so good for doctors and patients both because we can save time, we can provide more efficient services with retrieval system, we can have access of data from anywhere so that even if a doctor is working at more than one place, it's easy. When patient is traveling, it becomes easy. And not only this, EMR or EHR, but that's a way to communicate but with digitalization. I think the life for doctor and patient is becoming more comfortable because not only data retrieval, but the way they communicate, the way secrecy can be maintained, the way uh, dignity, privacy, and the data is handled is amazing. And that can also help us save environment, saving a lot of paper. So I endorse digitalization of hospital in many, many ways. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.